Hey everybody, welcome to Britpop's React, and as you may have noticed, there is no BP1, but lovely Mrs. BP2. Hello. Oh, lovely. Um, here she is again, uh, back by popular demand. In fact, I think a lot of you said just get rid of BP2 and do it yourself. I don't know Aww. what's going on there. But, um, I couldn't work this technology. <laughs> well, there is that. Um, so, thank you for joining us. Uh, so, we said we're going to go on a little bit of a different, diverse route with um, our reactions. So, on the main channel with me and BP1, we kind of cover everything, music, sport, uh, information. BP1's been going off on a bit of a country mission on his own, doing that's been doing quite well. So, myself and uh, Mrs. BP2, we're kind of doing some alternative um, artists, but in the process of looking for some alternative stuff, I came across this, and so today we're going to be reacting to a chap called Charles Bradley and his version of um, a Black Sabbath tune, Changes. Now, I know Changes from Black Sabbath, it's a lovely tune, so I think you might enjoy this. Okay. Um, so we'll just jump straight into it, and I'll add a little bit more information as we go along. But um, Is it Changes. A current song? Huh? Is it a current song? Oh, no. Uh, it was recorded first in 1972 by Black Sabbath. No. Ozzy Osbourne on lead vocals oh, back wow. then, way back in the day. So um, I'll crack on. I'll let this guy introduce uh, Charles to you, and then I'll add some more information as we go along. Is that okay mm -hmm. with you? Cool. Brilliant. Which is a tune by Black Sabbath. You don't strike me as the average Black Sabbath fan. How did this tune cross um, your path? Mr. Tommy Brennan asked me to do this song. Never heard of the guy, but the lyrics was so powerful. And that was going through the crisis. My mom was very ill, and I was watching her suffer, and it's hurting me to my heart. And I didn't want to do the song, but um, the first verses was very hard for me to learn because I didn't want to accept it. But when I saw my mom when she took her last breath, the second verse just came so natural. I didn't have to rehearse it. I didn't have to think about it. I look at it when she said her last goodbye to me. And boy, wow. even wow. today when I sing that song, I get truly emotional in there. Well, it's a beautiful version, man. They're, they're gonna, I think they'll all agree with me once they hear it. Okay. Um. I mean, like you said, you know, the, those, the opening few words, well, you know, she was my woman and, and all that. I mean, such a lovely, lovely voice. Lovely voice he has. The yep. tone. Oh. Uh, and, but, but the, the raw emotion, sings, isn't yeah. it? The emotion. And I mean, just to sort of be accompanied by that electric guitar. I mean, mm. that, that sounds nice as well. Just goes to show, you know, you put a, a musical yeah. instrument together with a musical voice. And, and the you know the chemistry is undeniable. Um, lovely song. Do you know the song no. changes? No. Yeah. So obviously, um, I'm hearing a different sound though. Because, yes. Yeah. Well, Black Sabbath. I mean, Black yeah. Sabbath did it as a piano version. So you can imagine Black Sabbath, heavy metal mm. band. You, you sort of again, you sort of instantly picture them metal 
Ozzy Osbourne thrashing guitars, and then they come out and write something like this. A lot of these sort of metal right. heavy rock bands have got these lovely ballads in them, you know, as well. Um, oh, so, lovely. beautiful. Uh, the song. So and, and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, uh, so Changes is a piano ballad by Black Sabbath, first appeared on volume four, which was released in 1972. Pitchfork author Stephen Deussner labelled it as one of Black Sabbath's best songs. Uh, Eminem's also sampled this track on his Going Go Through on. Changes from the Re Rehab wow. album in 2010. You like a bit of Eminem, mm. don't you? Uh, so maybe we can follow up with Eminem's yeah. version, see mm. how he yeah, did it, and see what he did there. Um, all right, uh, let's let's do some more and um, and I'll then add a bit more information about Charles himself. In my life. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, you know, and when he's giving those deep growls, I mean, that's sort of James Brownish there. Really. Yeah. He's got a lovely tone to his voice. I mean, this guy on the guitar, um, I will find out who he is actually and, and pop his name up uh, when I do the edit. Mm. But um, he's getting a lovely sound out of that guitar as well. And the arrangement is, you know, because like I say it was normally Super a sort of a arrangement. piano um, arrangement, but um, they've, they've done a lovely job on this. So. This is Charles Edward Bradley, uh, again, unfortunately passed away in 2017. Uh, American singer, after years of obscurity and part-time music career, Bradley came to prominence in his early 50s. His performance and recording style were consistent with the uh, revivalist approach of his wow. main label, Daptone Records. Uh, celebrating the feel of funk and soul music, yeah. I and mean, that's definitely coming through from the early 60s and 70s. Uh, yeah. One review said he echoes the evocative delivery of Otis Redding. Mm. Yeah, like a bit of Otis, mm. don't we? Uh, we're, we're into our R&B. Um, called The Screaming Eagle of Soul, Bradley was the subject mm. of a documentary, Soul of America, which premiered at South by Southwest in 2012. I like the documentary, so if I can find that, I will uh, give that a watch. So, documentary, The Screaming Eagle of Soul. If you can find it, have a look. Enjoying it? Yes, please. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. well no, it's, it's heavy, yes. but I still like to hear his, the way. Because he said the next bit's going to be even heavier. Mm, this bit gets me, he said, didn't he? That's so, right. um, uh, let's make sure that's up. Uh, let's see if we can go. 
back 10 seconds and... Wow, that hurt me the deepest. Bradley, please wow. uh, give him as much thank you applause yeah. as you possibly can. Charles, that was fantastic. That's Ben on guitar back there. Ben. Hello, ben. You never Hello, have too ben. many Bens in the room. Thank you guys for coming out. So that sound on that guitar yes. made it so much more intent. Yes. The sound from that guitar, what guitar is that? Is it uh, just to, Sorry to put you on the spot. Yes, you did put me on the spot. I didn't quite catch the uh, the name of the guitar. No, the, the sound though. It sounds so different. Yeah, it's not just, I mean, acoustic. It's, it's not no, electric. No, I mean it was uh, it, it was electric. Yeah, right. but it, it was okay. like a clean tone that he had yeah. with a bit of reverb or something. No, no effects or anything. Just a sort of a clean tone with a bit of bit of reverb. But it worked so mm. well with that song, and I had to close my eyes because it's just like. I, like I say, that, that last verse, you know, I wish we could all go back, go back and, and and do it different. I mean, how many how many times have we all sort of say that kind of thing? But, I mean, a lovely, lovely voice. Yeah. And unfortunately, like I say, just looking down here, so this was recorded in 2016. Right. Um, released, the album was released in April 2016, and then I said the, that he passed away uh, September 23rd, 2017. So... So Life's young, crap beautiful, beautiful soul that the guy has. Um, so there you oh. go. First time hearing that song for you. Loved it. Loved it. And I can't believe he's gone. Mm. And I'd like to hear the album. But um, uh, the emotion, the way he sings, lovely. Yeah, the, the album was also called Changes. So yeah, we can uh, yeah. find that one for you. Yeah. Um, so obviously, oh, it's heavy. I knew it, it, it was. Yeah, I mean, if you <laughs> if you enjoyed this, oh. uh, obviously it's heavy on the heartstrings. But if you enjoyed our reaction to it, um, Mrs. BB2's insights, feel free to like and subscribe. Please do because it helps the channel and it helps get um, people like Charles. And the yeah, music. because you would never hear that song normally, would you? No, although he's had twenty million views six oh. years ago, but it's out there. But then yeah. again, you know, I only stumbled across it because I was looking for. Um, different different artists I hadn't heard of, and I, I, I knew the song, so I thought, well, okay, soulful oh, cover like that. Loved his soully voice. Okay, his soully voice. There you go. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. So as we do on the channel, we're going to score. Oh, ten. Ten straight in there. No messing Beautiful. about. Beautiful emotion. Close my eyes. Go into it. Love. There you go, first set on the channel Heart. from Mrs. BP2. She's getting yeah. angry score in Malarkey already, isn't she? Uh, did you agree with her oh. score? I mean, yeah, I'm up there. Headache with... now. <laughs> <laughs> emotional headache. Emotional headache, yeah, but. Oh. Oh, but beautiful. Lovely song. Beautiful. I mean, what a lovely voice. So there you go, 10 from us uh, on Britpop's React to the lovely yeah. Charles Bradley and his soulful voice. Beautiful. Lovely song, too, Black Sabbath, uh, and that from a heavy yeah. metal band. So there you go. Thanks for joining us, and uh, what are you going to say? Um, I need one. a drink now. <laughs> you can lie down. No, um, 
Goodbye from me. Uh, Goodbye from him. <laughs> well, I, I don't even have to get involved anymore. Cheers. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>